Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Today we're going to finish the project for the Miller Falls number 12 breast drill. I took a breast plate from a donor drill, painted it, cleaned it up, got ready to mount on it. When I wire brushed off the back of the breast plate, it was green, same color as what the main gear was. So I painted them to match. I finished off the crank handle. I used the finish renewer on it. I finished the auxiliary handle. Used the finish renewer on that too. Now we're going to assemble this thing. The shaft for the crank handle has two flats on it so that it fits into the hole for the fits in the hole in the crank and doesn't this shaft doesn't spin. Five eighths wrench, we're up nice and tight. Now this handle just threads into that hole. And this handle slips over and the set screw lines up with a pocket in the shank. Now we have a completely assembled breast drill. A little oil and she's ready to be tested. All bearings on these drills require lubrication. Just a drop or two. Wipe off the extra. Some of you guys have asked, just how useful is a breast drill? Well, you've seen me drill steel with them. They're not a tool that does everything equally well, but they do what they do very well. This chuck is designed to handle square tang drill bits, whether it's an auger bit or a twist drill. Now we know that it'll drill a 3 16 hole. I've shown you that when I was doing the other riveting video. This is an 11 16 auger bit. I have the breast drill set on the lower gear setting, so I'm running the small drive gear against the uh, shaft gear. That gives me more torque, less speed, but more torque. handle is adjustable by loosening up the screw and then 
and sliding the handle out. It has three ranges. I'm going to go with the longest crank setting. With a good sharp auger bit, it goes through that piece of pine with no problem at all. This is 11 16 square shank twist drill. It's the largest square shank twist drill that I have. Once again, good sharp drill bit, goes right through that pine. Let's go to an extreme test. This is a number 22 auger bit. I think I'm going to struggle to get this to do it. But let's see. Looks like drilling a number 22 hole is well within the capacity of the breast drill going through pine. Oak might be a different story. It's all in the setting. Long handle extension. Set it on the small drive gear. Lots of torque. Low speed. But it cuts right through. And having a good sharp auger bit makes all the difference in the world. The Miller Falls number 12 breast drill is done. Works quite well. It's going to get a place of honor here on the rack. Let right it the top and the center. It's the nicest looking drill on the rack. Thanks for watching.